What is up everybody? It's Joe from JLDB Games coming at you with another cool video back in Planet Coaster in the one, the only Silver Dollar City recreation. Today we're going to be showing off uh, the progress that we've made since the last episode and uh, kind of kind, kind of just give you updates of how everything's going on. So we haven't worked much on Valley Road um, except for Flooded Mine. So Flooded Mine has started to be enclosed. As you can see, we have been working very hard on getting it enclosed and it is almost complete. Um, when I say almost complete, I mean it still has a long ways to go, but we're finally starting to get the channels and everything inside the building which is exciting so we can start doing some more final touches on it and everything like that but for the most part all of the channels and stuff are starting to get enclosed and inside so that is good news for that as for um this section of the park we haven't done much besides that um i will say what we have mostly been working on is beyond valley road and when we left off we had barely gotten past the frisco uh, barn here, but now we've gone into uh, where the red gold heritage hall is and stuff in this section in here where the culinary craft uh, School is as well, which hangs just right behind um, the um, Echo hollow theater, which we have not worked on uh, yet, as much either either yet So we've been working hard at work into over here. Welcome to the grand exposition so this is one of the family areas of the park that uh, we decided to start working on lately. And uh, this is the Grand Exposition with the Grand Expo Coaster. It has 10 total rides in this section, um, but we're not gonna be able to make all of them functional, um, which we'll be getting into later. Um, one of the functional ones will be the Grand Exposition Coaster. You see this kitty coaster uh, a lot. It's the Zem Perla model that uh, you see in a lot of parks. Um, Dollywood has Whistlepunk Chaser. I think uh, there's quite a few others out there, and all it has is a drop turn into like a little helix and then uh, another right turn. So it only has right turns and it goes through about three times um, on a lapping mode. So we do have Expo Coaster. We have the Magnificent Wave Carousel, which uh, we still have a lot to do with it, but it will be functional as well. The teacups will also be functional. I've been working on getting a roof for this as at the same time, which is also uh, this roof has over 14,000 pieces because we had to uh, create each, uh, all the little pieces here for the roof, but it looks phenomenal. And if there's any other way to get it less pieces, we're gonna try and do that as well. We'll have the Mighty Galleon, a functional ride as well. This is the pirate ship uh, that we can use over here. There's two rides over here, Racing Regatta, and I believe the, the Elephant Ride, which um, we won't be able to make functional because those rides do not exist in the Planet Coaster, but we're gonna try and make them visually there. Another one is Electro Spin, which is also a non-functional. I'm gonna be using uh, this uh, uh, Steam Workshop item, which is very well done. I might, uh, let's see if I can actually find the creator of this to give him credit. Um, I need to uh, give him credit for this because it is a fantastic piece uh, and it's a very nice static model stationary uh, ride which is um, because we don't have this in game the little disco uh, piece we do have a version of it but not this version so um, it's a very very beautiful version I'm in the process of changing the colors that's the only thing is it's hard to uh, here it is uh, get the colors changed, but I'm gonna give you uh, this is the disco uh, By silent member silent member created this so very good if you want a uh, This version if you're zoomed out it, it easily looks like it could be a ride I literally thought it looked like a flat a real flat ride within planet coaster But it actually isn't it's a uh, main color is yellow I think but we're trying to change it into the red black and yellow colors that sort of our city has and then we'll have Bugland, which has a couple of very very small small kitty attractions over there uh, back over there that I might just use there is a ladybug ride so I might use this uh, workshop item which is a uh, uh, also in the steam or er, steam workshop as a toolkit item it's not functional it's just uh, just uh, sits there so 
Anyways, that is what we have so far in the Grand Exposition that we're currently working pretty hard at. And of course, we're working on the Red Gold Heritage Hall, which is also turning out to be pretty good so far as well, which is one of the theaters in the um, uh, park as well. So heading back over here, we actually went back where the railroad crossing is. This is the where the train crosses through the tracks of... Uh, the track actually crosses through the path, and uh, when it comes by, they have to hold the sides and then everything like that. We also have got the wa start the start of the Waterboggin Tower, um, which is where the old Waterboggin ride used to be. They left the tower after they demolished the ride. They got rid of the channels, but they decided to keep the, uh, the tower for some reason, and it's still standing uh, to this day, so... That's very nice. Um, so this is what we've really recently been doing is working on a lot of paths to get ready to get into new sections. So this is what I actually worked on um, very recently and that I hope to develop very soon. So this is going to be one of the outdoor theaters. It's actually it's covered, but it's one of the outdoor theaters. It's not indoors. Um, I forgot if it's I always get Boatworks and Dockside confused. I pretty sure this is Dockside and then Boatworks is the one over by um, River Blast. Uh, so that's what that building's going to be. So what I did was kind of create some shapes of some of the buildings that are going to be in here and um, that way I knew where I was kind of on the path and then we'll go back and actually rebuild them and we'll not really rebuild them but detail them and get all the right textures and stuff like that later on i just wanted to make sure i knew where they're gonna go and stuff like that and this is gonna lead us into fireman's landing which is gonna go here and then of course i have the railroad that will go and travel behind fireman's um so this is going to take us down to the riverfront area this is going to be the lucky's toys um, this is going to be that pottery shop, uh, which is really cool. And then we have the Riverfront Playhouse, um, which this is just the square section of it. There's also an out outside section here where you enter into this spot. And then there's also the Riverfront restrooms uh, that also go there. There's also some paths that go back in this section over here. And this is where the big construction area is for Mystic River Falls. It's all taking up all of this area and it's crazy huge. Um, and then we have this other building that I don't know what it is currently now, but I know it's going to have cinnamon bread starting next season, um, which is a, it's a really big building that just is in the riverfront area and stuff like that. So that'll be cool. And then we get up here about where uh, uh, River Blast is going to be. Um, I did. I am going to have to kind of restructure this area just a little bit. This is where I ended up being at the end, but I'm going to restructure this a little bit to where it all fits. But I got the layout of River Blast right here, and I'm going to be changing that up uh, probably a little bit to fit a little bit. Basically because uh, the last thing I was trying to do was trying to connect um, Midtown with this bottom section. That way it all connects with all the paths um, is basically what we were trying to do. But um, making the little uh, corkscrew path that goes and connects to Midtown, which is up here... Um, kind of got in the way of River Blast a little bit, so we're just going to have to uh, kind of re, uh, relocate some of these pads and everything, and it'll be all be fine in the end. I just kind of have to make some adjustments to some of these pathways to figure it out. So, um, the, and this path is going to lead up to uh, Hill Street, which will uh, be connected with Powder Keg, Wildfire, uh, and fire in the hole and that's the last uh, big section we have to do is hill street and the area that goes back with wildfire and powder keg um, and then the park layout will be pretty much in place that's kind of what i've been wanting to do is kind of get some of the pathing and some of the areas together i will always go back and kind of make some uh, changes and everything. But when we go back over here, this is where, Crossro where Crossroads Pizza is going to be. And then we have the little seating area over here that was remaining even after Lost River was taken out. And we have a set of bathrooms that will go there. Then there's the uh, Wild West Racers here, which is kind of like a little, uh, kind of one of those little games that you can play then it'll lead us back into wilson's farm which is the home of the giant barn swing which we finally have in place right now could still be adjusted but at the moment we have it in place and then that will head you back into outlaw run 
uh, obviously uh, a variety that I've been wanting to get into place for quite some time now and I'm excited that uh, we finally got it in place for now. Uh, I still might shift it a little bit more and redo some of the pathing a little bit. I think I might do some path covers for this entire area and we'll see how it goes but for right now um, it's going to be in this section uh, and uh, we I just wanted to get it into a good spot. So everything's looking so far so good. Also, another thing we worked on uh, since the last episode was redoing powder keg completely. Um, so if you knew that I already had a powder keg, um, kind of like a test for powder keg of how it would work. And what we uh, essentially did was we used a track. Uh, so obviously if you know powder keg, it has, um, it has a transfer track right out of the bat. So you uh, go onto the transfer track, it transfers you up to the launch pad. Um, so that was something that was a little bit different that Planet Coaster is not able to do. So I'm gonna have a hidden track to get the trains up there because I wanna keep the track um, nice and um, functional. So um, we won't have the transfer, but we will have the train getting up here. And that was the biggest part was trying to figure that out. So this will all be hidden track that's here. And when I do a cinematic version, I'm of course going to use some movie magic to make it look functional, uh, which will be nice. So uh, we have our uh, rollback track here uh, that the ride also has, the launch pad here, and uh, I used the infinite track. So something new that I tried was we're going to, what we did was we completely traced the track with SNS track, but we also used um, the, tra uh, we wanted to use the track uh, as the infinite track. So uh, I could do anything I kind of wanted with it. So I could have a launch with the lift and everything, but I did do something different on the lift just for uh, certain purposes, which we'll get into. And then we retrace the track with some SNS style track. So it looks like the track is still SNS because um, that's what it is. And I have to say, this is one of the smoothest rides I've ever built. Now, visually you might be going, that kind of looks off a little bit there. Uh, when I retrace the track, there are parts that are a little bit uh, kind of on the rough side. Um, but the uh, POV and everything is super smooth, I'll have to say that. But the good thing about using uh, retracing with the track and using the infinite track is I can switch over to the Buzzsaw Falls track when it does the Buzzsaw Falls section. So if you know Powder Keg, it, was convert, uh, it used to be Buzzsaw Falls, uh, which was a complete failure for Silver Dollar City. And they ended up recycling part of Buzzsaw Falls into powder keg. So this big turn right here with the old style track was actually uh, the track for Buzzsaw Falls. And they recycled this turn alongside with the lift hill uh, that used to be Buzzsaw Falls into powder keg uh, because Buzzsaw Falls only operated for like four seasons. Uh, and another thing I'm doing is I'm using a wooden piece to make the diagonal cross sections to make it look more like that old style premier track, which I haven't finished all the way through. I just have done it to this point, but it's looking very, very convincing. And I have to say, I'm very proud of how that turned out. So you can see the transition from the SNS track to the Buzzsaw Falls track. And the transition's actually not too weird in real life. And again, it is one of the weirder rides that a lot of people claim. And then also for the lift hill, I decided to use an LSM launch system that goes really slow, but slow enough to look like a lift hill. So if I use the infinite track, you might be asking, why did you not just use the chain lift? Because the chain lift on the infinite, uh, infinite track uses a very thick um, box spine that does not fit with the visually what I want it to look. But I got it to look very good it looks just like a lift hill so um, going up the lift and it took me some time to figure out but we got it and um, it turned out pretty good the retracing on the track here with the sns uh, did kind of was a little bit off quite a bit and we're gonna go up and try and fix parts of those um, as soon as we can 
We're gonna try and smooth it out just a bit so it looks a little bit better, but there are obviously gonna be some spots that are kind of off here and there, but overall, I'm pretty proud with how Powder Keg turned out, and I'm pretty happy. So uh, we still have to connect Wildfire and Powder Keg, and then of course, Fire in the Hole is going to be in this area as well. But anyways, we've gotten a lot of work done. A lot of you people sometimes question like, when's the next episode coming out? And I wanna make sure, always make sure I have plenty of work done before I kind of put these episodes out to show off because I want to be able to I don't want to place an episode every single after every single live stream because I don't always get a ton done in my, in my live streams so I just want to make sure that um, you all know that and that's why sometimes the episodes are kind of spaced out quite a bit and they take a while sometimes but um, anyways yeah everything's looking good um, we're trying to connect Midtown here with this. this is the biggest issue I'm trying to figure out right now but when we come back to this soon Hopefully I will have the entire hill street and everything connected with paths and everything so that I want to have all the pathways done and start on a lot of the buildings and rides and make sure that each section is going to start coming together. So when we come back in the next episode I'm hoping to have all the paths in place, um, at least the basic paths that will... Um, that you'll see all connected together and you'll pretty much be able to see the layout of the park and that's going to be my goal for next episode is that you're going to be able to see all the layout of the park and all we're going to have to do now and that is detail each area uh, so that's going to be our big challenge that's going to take the longest is just detailing each area with everything so anyways that's going to about do it for this episode i hope you guys enjoyed make sure you comment like and subscribe for more amazing content like this, let me know if you're enjoying the Silver Dollar City series and let me know exactly what your thoughts are and how it's looking so far. I'm pretty, pretty happy and excited uh, because um, I'm hoping to have this project done in under and maybe less than a year. We'll see. Um, I really want to get it done soon, though. Like, I'm really at full blast trying to get this project going. Um, since it's been like two years already and I think uh, we've been making more progress over the last couple months than we have in the last two years so anyways I appreciate you guys watching make sure you have a great day and cooler tomorrow and I will catch you guys in the next live stream or video thanks and goodbye